Good morning, how are you? These are almond cookies from Bell's Bread uh, down in like, the Upper Arlington area, basically. Um, it is a Japanese French bakery. It has amazing pastries and they've got sandwiches and they do a lot of ice cream and uh, matcha drinks and that kind of a thing. It's just a wonderful place. It's down off of Kenny and Henderson. Uh, there's a white castle on the corner. You keep going down Kenny a little bit and then there's a Japanese entire market back there. Um, they have a grocery store and a sushi place and a ramen place and uh, there's this wonderful Western Chinese restaurant that has some of the best noodles and sausages and just everything. But it is Western Chinese um, is the name of the restaurant. I, I don't speak Mandarin. Unfortunately, I cannot get my mouth around uh, how, how they pronounce the name of the store, but it, it is Western Chinese is in the name. Um, wonderful place, such a good place. Owners are great. I really love going there. Those are gonna go with my El Puente. The uh, apricot, ladyfingers, chocolate syrup, sugar cane, tasting food, drink. Food that becomes drink. I mean, they're beans. Beans become drink. Beans food. Beans good. Anyway, so how we're gonna measure this out today is our pretty standard fare. I've got the water boiling. I've got the scale on. I'm gonna do about 30 grams of coffee and we're gonna do about 500 grams of water so I can have a nice big cup of coffee today. <sighs> 30. Two. Thirty-two. That is what we're doing today. Okay. Let me get up on here. Boop. We'll be ready for our water when the water is done, which will be in a little bit. All right. Hang on. Cover your ears. Escape, little beans. <laughs> so there is our 32 gram or 30, yeah, 31 ish, 32 ish. Let's see. Actually, let's see. Let's see what we got here. 32. It says 32 on the label. Still a lot of chaff. Yeah. I had the spray here. I even shook it to remind myself that I had it and I didn't spritz the beans. We have to get patterns going. It's like medication. I'm on a medication now. I have to get patterns going because I have to remember to take the medication. It's just a whole thing. Blood pressure. Blood pressure medication because I am that age now. I have to take a blood pressure medication. Oh, great. Oh, well. Take your blood pressure meds. Go to the doctor. See if there's something wrong with you. If there's something wrong with you, do your best to treat it. Um, <clears throat> don't be like me. I am on blood pressure medication now. Um, my stress levels are lower, but um, it's really funny because um, <clears throat> I took my blood pressure last week consistently. Um, mid 140s, over 80 something, probably, something like that. Um, and then I went outside, uh, like, what was it, Sunday? And I washed the car. I, I, I like washing my car. Washing my car is uh, the fun part. I like, I enjoy doing that, getting everything off. There's a lot of tar on the side for some reason. I don't know where I picked that up, but uh, we've got some, uh, some spray that'll take it right off, so that's fine. And uh, I came back in and I sat down. And I'm like, huh, I wonder where my blood pressure is at right now. 110 over 60. 110 something in the, and then the sixties. So I should wash my car every day, basically. No, basically what that tells me is I should exercise every day and I am not very good at that. So see cookies. Uh, what else is going on? Um, yeah, I washed the car. Um, got new tires on the car. 
Um, switched out my winter roughy tires and wheels, and now my GTS wheels have wonderful, beautiful summer tires on them that I don't think that they've ever had before. I think they've always had all seasons on them. Um, and when I bought the car in 2019, they had all seasons on them that were near the end of their life. So uh, I'm very excited to see what this does. It's just, you know, I, uh, when I visit my parents, they live out on a long, twisty, windy road that I've driven for the entirety of my uh, car driving life. And uh, I know every nook, cranny, and bump driving out there. When I had the Subaru was fun, you know. And I, I had a Subaru um, Outback Limited. Wonderful car, loved it. Paid it off, decided I needed a car payment because what is life without a car payment? So I bought something more expensive for whatever reason. But I'm excited to take it out there in a couple weeks, hopefully during a dry spell. <laughs> So we can go out and it's just a wonderful state route that just twists and turns and is very predictable to me. And, you know, so I'm just excited to do that. But yeah, I got new tires on the car, uh, washed it. And then and it's funny because I went back into the doctor yesterday and uh, to talk about the medication that I was already on and to maybe change this. And, you know, it was back up to like 140 something and, you know, I just think I sit high and I think it's worse. I think it's always worse when we go to the doctor. Um, I just think, I just think it is. Um, I thought maybe I somehow had a uh, secret white coat syndrome, which is when you are, um, we're shooting for 500 here, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a hundred in for right now. Um, yeah, I, I, I never used to think I got white coat because, and white coat syndrome um, is when uh, you, you, you like have a, a decent blood pressure when you're outside of the hospital, but if you go in for an appointment of any kind, your blood pressure shoots up because you see doctors and nurses and it's a very, it's a very stressful environment. It doesn't matter how much they try to de-stress the environment by painting the walls a certain color or, you know, just being more happy or whatever. Um, you're still in a hospital and you still don't want to be there regardless of whether you made the appointment or not. And, um, so you, your blood pressure goes up, you know, and you, you know, you just, you don't feel very good when you're in with a doctor. Yeah. Did I say 300 or 500? I bet I said 300 to begin with. And, uh, I think we're going to do 500. No, we'll do 400. Let's put the middle. Why not? We'll give it a try and see what happens here. See how long it takes to draw down. I did, um, I did a 15 on the Encore here, so we'll see how that, see how that goes. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, so, so a lot of people, not everyone, Quite a few, though, that I've that I've known that have gone to the doctor has you know their blood pressures have gone up considerably when they visit the doctor, which you know creates a false narrative when you're doing you know you're trying to show them hey I am doing well you know well your blood pressure is up well yeah I'm looking at you it's like I remember when I went in to the dentist and they took my blood pressure and they're like, oh geez, is your blood pressure normally this high? I said, yes, when I'm sitting in a dental chair, you're about to pick my teeth. That's not pleasant. I'm not excited to be here. <laughs> I am excited, but it's the other kind of excited. <laughs> it's, it's the scared excited, you know? So, um, ooh, drawdown's really quick. About a three minute. Hmm. Four minutes are usually the best. Probably means I needed to go finer on my uh, grind setting again. I always go back and forth. I don't know why. It's just stagnation, you know. I mean, I don't want this to be boring. It's not boring to me, but, you know, I'm recording this and I'm putting it on YouTube, you know, for people to see and hopefully get some enjoyment out of. So I don't want it to be absolutely boring. Uh, So about a three minute coffee there. That's probably not 
great. But I'll allow it. It's my kitchen. And we learn and we do what we can with what we've got. It's all good. Um, yeah, so yeah, coffee. How many cups of coffee do you drink? Uh, two? You know, I mean, that's two. That's two cups of coffee. That's all I do all day, really. It's, it's just, 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 just this carafe in the morning. So, yeah. So these, I'm sorry, these are almond cookies. They're, they're hard, nice almond extract with little bits of almond cookies in them. And um, they're just almonds, butter, sugar, flour, contains tree nuts and wheat. Sell by, wow, well, it's got a long sell by date. But they, they don't last. I mean, you go in there, you go in there about one o'clock in the afternoon and, you know, like a normal bakery, a lot of stuff is already gone. Um, they used to do Madeleines. They had a wonderful lemon Madeleine that went great with coffee. It was so good. Um, and uh, they seem to have moved away from that, at least for a little while. Um, things kind of phase in and out. There are some staples that are there. They have a wonderful peach uh, custard Danish. Um, strawberries, um, blueberries. Um, they also have this really cool thing. It's in the, I need to save it, but I, it, it, I can't save it because they're so delicious. They have, they make little bear heads with little ears. They do little drawings in, um, on their faces of little bears in white chocolate and regular chocolate. And then inside is uh, a, a butter uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's a creamy butter. It's not a butter cream. It's a very creamy butter. And then they add strawberry to that. And then it's like a red strawberry creamy butter. And it's just the most fluffiest, most delicious thing ever. Um, ate that already. So, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Inzy winzy. I looked at getting new cups from... Amazon. I need to go to a place that maybe I'll go to a crate and barrel and see if I can find some more coffee cups. You know, these are fine, but they're fairly old and um, they've got a lot of lines running through them where I've washed them out and accidentally scra scratched something. Plus, here's a little funny thing. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little dent in the glass from where I've been putting my thumb for years and years and years because I like hold it like this. So, I've been looking for new clear coffee mugs. Oh, mm. oh, such tasty, such tasty goodness. Um, chocolate chip, so much chocolate chip and the sweetness that just hits you from it. And I must have made it okay um, because it tastes wonderful. Um, there's no bitterness um, that I can really, t I mean, other than the normal, normal bitter taste. That is an all coffee that you forgive because it's part of the coffee experience. And these, I just, I do wish you could smell these because they just smell so wonderful and almondy. And you're just, oh. Now you get to hear me chew. You get to hear me slurp. Now you get to hear me chew. <laughs> but they're very flaky and crumbly. And look at the whole almond in there. Oh. And that goes great with this. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. You can't dunk them. As much as you feel like compelled to dunk them, you can't, they will disintegrate in that coffee. So the best thing to do. Mm. Is exactly that. Go find yourself some cookies. Go make yourself some coffee. Have a good morning. Thank you for stopping by. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, my uh, next toy shelf dusting has gone up. And then I'll have, I'll have two more plus an extra one on Friday that you'll be, um, you, you should check out just saying, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more coffee and I really appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.